It's like I've never had this much height in my hair ever in my life. I'm in that in-between phase of, you know, your hair's growing out just enough to where you go, I need a trim, but am I going to let it grow back out or am I going to go back a little bit shorter again? But it's like Rod Stewart has taken over. And I have to tell you, I kind of like it. Well, I thought I would do a video this morning. I really don't like doing too much videoing and too much chaos, but at this point in my life, you know, it is what it is, people. So I haven't really put it together a video here in the last couple of days because the house has been in, folks, total disarray, okay? So we've really, really moved on updating the house. The downstairs, the entire basement is, we're in the last like two or, th I'm hoping the last two or three days. The doors are up, they're finishing painting the doors and the trim, and just a few little details here or there. Beyond that, the, the entire basement is done. And praise the Lord on that. Because here's the thing, having the, the space downstairs allows us to, you know, put appropriately down there what needs to be down there, including children. <laughs> so, um, that allows us to open up space upstairs. If you've ever done a home renovation, even if it's just one room, even if it's just for like a weekend or a week or something like that, you know how crazy it kind of is. So throw your entire basement and throw in your kitchen at the same time. Holy moly. So if you hear barking in the background, it is because the deer like to come and taunt my dogs. I'm just, I think they have a, a morning joke about it. But so Dolly's out there barking at the deer that are like, <laughs> she thinks she's cute. So you can see right here, we have completely started the kitchen and I'm doing one project at a time. And that's because I'm indecisive on things. Now we did not tear up the 1975 Marsha, Marsha, Marsha vinyl flooring that is underneath this floating laminate. So it is still there. So that never got taken up. That's not been removed. So it's still kind of preserved. I kind of like that, this floating laminate. It kind of preserves what you have underneath. So if you're looking to keep old floor because you can't afford or don't know how to fix it or don't know how to get things fixed or, you know, maybe you're just sentimental about it, the floating laminate is a good option for you. Um, this right here, if so, I know you're gonna ask me what this is. We got this from Lowe's. It is the Shaw product. It is, I love it. It's all in my basement and now it's up here in the kitchen because that we have original hardwood over there. And um, it goes in beautifully. It, it, it kind of pulls from a bunch of different colors. I like that. It's kind of the browns and the honeys, a little bit of gray. So you know what? It allows you to change your mind on other things should you choose to. So here is a very complicated shorthand explanation of what I've been doing with over here. Yes, I did get a new electric stove. Now, a lot of you are gonna say, wait a minute, I thought you were getting a wood stove. Yes, I'm getting the new wood stove. If I don't trip and fall down, it's gonna be on that side right there. So we've had to take everything out of the kitchen. I lost my whole little mini pantry. You know, the stuff that you keep on hand, that you, like your immediate flour and salt and carrot cakes from Costco and things like that. Uh, that is all gone. So we've had to shift everything from the kitchen to the den, to the dining room, down the hall. Oh my Lord. So this area right here is kind of a mess and it's going to be for a couple more weeks. And here is a good lesson. I really, really didn't want to spend the money on getting a new range here. I felt guilty about it. I shouldn't feel guilty about it, but I did because I thought I'm getting a wood cook stove. This one works fine. But here's the problem. I couldn't get a new countertop, which I really, really wanted, even if it's Formica, which is what I am going with, guys. They have some beautiful Formica countertops. I just ordered mine yesterday. It looks like driftwood. It is beautiful. I went with that because I don't have a lot of counter space on this side, and the money that I can save from going with beautiful Formica, I, I like it. I've had Formica the last three, <laughs> uh, what? 
uh, 10 years of my life and even before that, and I never had trouble with it because I don't do my main chopping on that. That's what this is for. So I saved a bunch of money. I love it. It's beautiful. And it allowed me to have a little extra funding for my wood cook stove and this stove right here. So that worked out well for me. But I didn't want to get rid of that oven if I didn't have to, but we finally decided we had to because the countertop, that blame countertop. Now you're going to see, I keep having stuff fall from the wall because they, they had to cut this out. We're, I tore this down. Actually, it got kind of jammed up, so I'm removing the wallpaper from here. Now, I know a lot of you are so <laughs> sentimental about my wallpaper. I'm going to have to remove it in part of the kitchen because, A, it's damaged already. B, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. So, we're going to be updating some things but keeping some things old. But look, this is just gross. The old stove that was here, that was that um, flat surface, it, it's the only one I've ever seen on its own where it overlapped. So look what it was doing. It was damaging the countertop. Now you can buy these little doodads to put on, which is an option uh, with your stoves when you get them. Here's my fingerprints. Uh -huh. um, you can elect to have that, but this older Kenmore that I had, it automatically came over. So it killed this countertop. But guys, it was time to let me upgrade you. So, I had a little bit of guilt about it, but I was excited to get it in here. We're going to make it work. I thought, you know, I spent a little bit more money than I wanted to right now, but I know it's all going to work out. It's all going to be good. But let me tell you what happened next. So, we finished the floor day before yesterday. The stove arrived on the same morning, and my guys that are working on the house, electricians, they're, they're the full deal, uh, construction, home, uh, home, um, not appraisal, well, I guess they could do an appraisal, but um, when you have an inspection, the whole nine yards, okay, so they have their own company, and they said they'd put my new stove in for me after they finished the flooring in the kitchen, so they brought the stove in, started taking the old one out, whatever, and he said, this is wired completely wrong. Your wiring is wrong, your gauge is wrong, and he said, I'm going to be honest, honest with you, he said, it is a miracle that this house did not catch on fire because technically the way that this stove in the back and underneath was wired into your house was completely wrong, not even just against code, but dangerous. And he said it should have melted down. So this is what I really want you to take away from this video, not just catching up with you and all the cool things going on around the farm right now and how we are getting there on all of the updates. But the fact of the matter is, is when you buy a home, especially a used home, it doesn't even have to be that old. But you really need to look heavily and deeply into how things are put in. When you just make an assumption, you just make an assumption that, the, you know, the stove is plugged in. Ours wasn't. It was hardwired in. We didn't know that until we pulled it out. And we didn't know it until we had to disconnect it. And he looked inside and he was like, no, no, no. He's like, I want y'all to see this. So my point is, is always really, truly check things. And as you are upgrading your home, especially if it's used, you're going to find issues. And so you should be proactive where you can and not feel guilty about doing something for you and your family and upgrading something. Because frankly, that upgrade right there probably saved my house, if not everyone else in it. So I'm not really fully sure exactly how the whole kitchen is gonna finish coming together. So I have my countertop completely ordered. It should be here in about two weeks. That doesn't mean it's gonna be installed in two weeks. That just means it's gonna be here. I did order a large open farm sink. Um, I did stick with stainless. I have been back and forth 75,000 times at every store in East Tennessee on do I want cast iron? Do I want granite composite? Do I want stainless steel? Do I want it with two sides, one side, three sides? How many holes, your hole, his hole, that hole? Because <laughs> that determines how what type of faucet I get on top because I don't like seeing those little, I mean, I don't. I want to know what I'm getting, how it's going to fit in because there's no, sim I don't want to have these little caps on there if I don't have to. So I finally made the decision this week, did the countertop, that's behind me. We can finish the fronts down here whenever I get there. Don't, I know, I know. But then that also determines my backsplash. 
Am I gonna do the backsplash? Is your mama gonna do the backsplash? And there's two or three options that I'm looking at that I don't have to worry about that just yet. Now, this wall right over here, I'm gonna flip you around. So this is where my wood cook stove is going to go. It comes in April. It comes next month and I'm gonna totally walk you through it, show it to you, you know, all that you want to know. That's what I'm waiting on. And it's gonna be right here and I'm gonna to have to put down slate. You do want a bottom underneath that. I don't want tile. Uh, my option was really tile or slate. At the old house, I had slate. I love slate. It's gonna be like a Turkish slate and it's beautiful. It's gonna be right here. And that's what Big Mama is gonna be on. And we're excited about that. So everything is coming together. It's a little chaotic, but I haven't been able to work in the kitchen that much or do anything with Gabriel in the kitchen because guys, I'm telling you, Home renovations are very, very stressful. But on a positive note, spring is definitely here. We are moving forward with all of the animals. The animals are doing great. The baby bunnies are getting so big. About to take the nesting box out because they're starting to hop out of it and hop around with mama. Their eyes are open. They're doing great. I'm about to finish uh, weaning the all my goat babies. By the end of this weekend, we'll be done bottle feeding. I just sort of set a date. So honestly, I've pretty much bottle fed up to the last bottle uh, 12 weeks with those babies. So I did a little extra than what a lot of people do, but it made me comfortable. So they are so healthy, doing great. The cows are wonderful. Uh, it's a lot more peaceful on the farm right now since, you know, you know who kind of, you know, got on that trailer and went back. Now, if somebody asked me, I will tell you this, the bull was born on my farm. So a lot of folks are saying, well, he went back with the farmer because he, he likes the farmer better than you. Well, maybe he does. I think he respected the farmer a little bit more than I do, uh, the bull whisperer. But also, he probably did sense that I was a little stressed. I mean, I have had my nose and my forehead broken by a cow. So, you know, no, I'm I'm not going to mess with the bull. He can get real mean, okay? So, he's back at that farm. It's Everything's going really great with that. But he was born with me. We raised that bull. But also, he could have gotten on the trailer a little bit easier than ours because, you know what, he probably smelled some girls that had been on that big cow trailer. So... You know, you know how them boys are, chasing them girls. Mm -hmm. So the kitchen is coming along. So the countertop's coming, the sink's coming, the stove's coming. It allows me to make more decisions. I'm not changing everything in my kitchen. I don't want to. I don't want it to look like Pinterest or Instagram. Not that I don't look at those pictures every day, too, to get cool ideas. I don't want open shelving. <clears throat> That's not my thing. Those things are beautiful, but they're not me. I want there to be remnants of my life. I want my plates to be up there on that soffit. You know, something my husband's bought for me. I want a basket that Miss Lou from Cher from you know from Cherokee over there got for me. I want I want my grandmother's things on the wall. I don't want to look like Pinterest or Instagram. I want to look like Patera and you should want to look like you. So the potatoes are going in the ground. We're getting ready to move forward with more planting. I need to put another blueberry bush in. Lots of small things. We have baby chicks coming next week. We have videos with Gabriel. So he's so excited and lots of fun stuff. But I wanted to update you. Oh, and before I go, this is what I did. This is exactly what I'm gonna do. I looked at all those gooseneck all those crazy sprayer things that come down with the sprayer on them. They're beautiful, but they're not me. I like this. So this is what I'm doing. You need to do you. Okay? All right, guys. We'll see you on the next video. We've got them coming up. We've gotten to a point where we can do that. Time to make those bottles over there and head up and feed my babies. And guys, you be good. And we'll see you on the next video.